I now stand worthless before her sight. She treats me as if I'm a salt which has lost its flavor. The woman I married has suddenly grown cold and hostile towards me. The more I try to know her, the further she drifts apart. What is it that went wrong? What? <laughs> Why won't Ken let me be? Since when did stay off me become a difficult drama to comprehend? I don't get it. Why is it hard for him to understand that I've told him to stay clear from me? But he keeps coming close, trying to choke me to death with his disgusting and sticking smell. Gosh. <laughs> God knows. I am saying it loud and clear now, and nobody wants to listen. Nobody is paying attention to me when I will take laws into my hands. Mouth will get loose and I don't care what they say. I don't give a damn. Okay, we shall see. My parents, like ice, have suddenly gone cold to each other. Our oh, one sweet home has become a place of quarrel. Mom no longer wants Dad to come near her, and Dad himself will not keep his cold. God, please, where are you? God, please come fast. God, please come fast. There was another fight today. <laughs> there will always be a fight as long as your dad came, refused to give distance. My dad should keep a distance away from you. Yes, he should. Far away from me. Do you know why? Because your father stinks. He irritates me. He smells like garbage. I do not want him around me anymore. So he should give distance. Mom, see where you describe him. Mom, slow it down. I have heard of men who abandon their family and run away. Hmm. Who is telling you all this, Daniel? Well, if your daddy likes, let him run away to anywhere of his choice. Like I told you before, I don't care. He can run away to hell. So, you want dad to run away? Yes. End of discussion. Oh yeah, stand up, get up, go to your room. Do I really want to go home? I have a stress day in the office today. And going home now entails another face off with Nina, my wife. I think I will head down to spot one 
Yeah. A bottle of beer will cool my nerves. At least I'll take more time there rather than going there. No. Let me. Let me. Yeah, yeah, that was the distance I sent to you, the details. So you get back to me and tell me so we know how to, what to do about it, okay? No, no, I I just did it now. I was a little bit out and I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, everybody's fine, you're okay. <laughs> Hey, what is it now? Eh? What kind of wicked act is that? Holding you now is an act of wickedness. So you don't know? You don't know? If I don't tell you, like, seriously, you don't know that you stink and smell at the same time and you're wrapping me like that, why now? My wife, the way you're treating me like a disease, I mean, I'm so shocked. I'm... Why? I'm your husband. You are my husband. Yes, nobody is disputing that. Okay, you have a foul smell. Deal with it. All of a sudden, I can have a foul smell. Huh? If I develop any skin, Kane diseases. For crying out loud, Ken. Look, take a good look at me now. See my skin, see my body. If I see any spot or any kind of disease on this skin, just because of this, your nonsense, eh, what is it so called, eh, wrapping or hugging, whatever you think you call it, I will not forgive you. Look at the way you're talking to me. Why are you insulting me? Can your husband? Eh? I now suddenly smell. It is well. Mr. Husband, if I insulted you, sorry, or deal with your order. Excuse me. Oh. Nina, you're not right. If actually he suddenly stinks, you're his wife. You deal with it. I should help him and shave. As what? I don't get it, Ruth. What are you saying? Come on, Rena. We're talking about age. We're talking about your husband. <laughs> oh my god. I say baby, okay? I should, no, now I should also bait him, not only to shave him. Nina, I don't get you. He is my husband, yes. That doesn't mean he should not take care of himself. You don't expect me to allow him to come close to me with all those stinking and smelling body of his. He stinks, you said. Yes. You use that word for your husband. Nina, where is the love you have for this man? Don't make me believe you've lost it. Because the way you are sounding, I can't see any trace of love. Not even a single trace of love for this man. Please, my friend, wake up. Remember one thing, Ruth. We are friends. Does not mean you should just talk about my family anyhow. I didn't give you any rights. In fact, who even told you? I don't have that time. As for now, is either he changes or he stays off me. I mean very clear, far away, 100 meters away from me. Because I can't deal with his thinking. It's too much. Change. Change. You can do that for him. You can make him look neat the way you want. These men we are talking about, they are big babies. It is the duty of every woman to be like a mother to the husband. Please, don't go too far. I remember in life, the only thing that is constant is change. As for change, I've taken that to my spirit out a long ago. Until he changes, 
I will change. But if he did not change, I am not changing. Look, you don't understand what I'm telling you. The change you are talking about is this same man that goes out every day to hunt for food, to keep food on the table. So, when does being the breadwinner of the family become an issue? When has it become a point not to at least take care of yourself? What are you telling me? <sighs> what is wrong with my friend God? Wow, Ruth, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Welcome. I can see you're pushing. Ah, yeah. he's well. How is your husband? He's fine. The Lord is our strength. You're welcome. I hope you had a nice day today. Yes, yes. Welcome. Fine, sweetheart. Hey, what's that for now? Huh? Please excuse me. Where is uh, Dan and my son? Okay. Welcome, okay, man. sir. Thank welcome, sir. Yeah. Oh, Sanfo. What is wrong with this girl, no? Nina? Eh? That was too bad. In fact, it was so rude. Please, Ruth. It's okay. I don't want to talk about this anymore. You will not say I did not tell you. It's already five o'clock. Let me be on my way. But I'm telling you, for the last time, change. Thank you, your friend. Let me go and cook for my husband. And um, do. Oh, good woman. And you're still cooking food. It is your condition. What has condition, my condition got to do with me making food for my husband? Oh, okay. I can see that. It's a woman. Take it seriously. Nina, change, oh. I don't know what is wrong with you. Change, oh. Ha. This thing is becoming too much, oh. Don't ha. mind me. All right, see you later. Body. Catch you. <laughs> You now want to come and tell me how to marry my own husband. Can you imagine that? Dad, you are making so lonely since you came back. Danny, I had a stress day in the office today. Dad, please forgive mom. Don't think about anything she says to her. Come here. I love you, son. I love you too. Thank you. Love you. The way my wife treats me. Will it be wrong if I leave the house for her and move in with another woman? Would it be a crime? I'm tired. I can't take this anymore. I don't think.
this for a long time. What is your question? <laughs> See, if it is for you. You want to know I am happy? You want to know what the patient is surprised? Promise me you won't tell anybody. I promise, Mom, I won't tell anybody. Okay, I'll tell you. Today is your daddy, my sweetheart's birthday. Yay! Should I wait to see the surprise? See this are cool. Eh? Now you want to like get involved into me and your dad. Come on, go to your room. I'll call you when it's done. Okay. Okay. Bye. What's going on here? Happy birthday. Oh, Remember. yes. I do. Okay. I made your favorites. This is your birthday, so I said it to make your favorites. Yes, we can celebrate it together. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't know what mm. came over me. Not I'm too. sorry. Bina, this thing is coming too late. No, sweetheart. It's not late. Yes, I'm it is. I've changed. I'm a changed person. No, 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 no. Come, come, come. See, I, I came to pick my things. I, I'm moving out. What, what is going on? You, you know, are you joking? Are you telling me the truth? I am not joking. I'm serious. I'm done with this marriage, yes? Excuse me. Please, <laughs> King. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is this? Please. I'm tired. I am done with you. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Forgive me, please. I'm so sorry. Aiden, what do I do now? You know, my being here is to make her jealous, okay? For her to distress her steps. Ken, please go back to your wife. She needs you. Can't you see the tears in her eyes? She loves you. She has already retraced her steps. Please, she needs you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank so you. Great. But you women need to know that your husband is yours to prove. <laughs> Imagine. Go and meet your wife, Joe. On our way, be man, I'm not going to prone on our wife. Beg. Please Thank go. you. So I really great. appreciate you. You are welcome. But we need to go in there. I want you to talk to us. It's okay. Eh? Okay. <laughs> My dear, you can have your husband back. I'm sorry too. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry too. 